What's going on, YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. All right, I got another video for y'all today. Uh, I've been working on, um, uh, I'm ready to put out another Me Frosty design, you know, for my brand. If you don't know what Me Frosty means, it's a term I came up with to represent my family. Okay, so Me Frosty represents my family. All right, now before I get too in depth in the video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit that bell so every time I drop a new video, you won't miss none of my latest and greatest content. Because as y'all know, I'm always dropping gems and I'm always designing something, baby. So here we go. All right, this is pretty much, uh, I've been working on uh, a few of these for like the past couple of days, but. I've been busy with other things, shipping pieces out and, you know, normal life stuff. So I'm getting back into this. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a custom patch uh, to put on something. Now, I don't know if I want to go with twill. I don't know if I want to go with full embroidery. I don't know if I want to go with Chanel or a combination of some of the few. Now, if you guys don't know what those terms mean, I suggest you look them up and do your research. So once again, that's twill, tackle twill, or uh, full-blown uh, embroidery, or Chanel, okay? Now, here we go. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit because you know, I'm recording my screen, and you guys can't really see the details in this thing. Some of the colors might be off as well, all right? So... Let me blow this up as much as I can. All right, so this is my new logo that I plan on going with. In the comments below, let me know if y'all feeling it, all right? See that African print in the background? Um, on screen, the contour might look like it's black, but it's actually maroon. Okay, we got another white con this is actually a white contour here. That's not the white background. That's a contour. So let me just change the background to transparent. Change it to transparent so you can see. Alright, you see? Now so this is the final. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back out of this. Actually, you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna do? Uh I'm just gonna delete everything and show you guys how I started, okay? Okay. Now this is the beginning. See, see the major difference this is how I started and y'all already saw the final outcome alright so all I did was this font just in case you want to use this font the name of this font is it's called Old Chewy Regular okay Old Chewy Regular now this font right here I uploaded from the site called the font I spoke to I spoke about the font in the past all right so I just I just uploaded that particular font style from the font into CADWorks live and I started working with it okay so like I showed you guys before to get the background inside of the font I just went here I just clicked on the bucket I went to texture Okay, I got some textures in here. Here's the texture that I chose. Okay. Boom. So we just put apply. And there you go. It's no longer just a black image. Okay. And I didn't really like the way that that looked at first because as you can see the separation between the letters looks kind of boring so that's why I, I added the contour to it so just double click click add effect and I click this I did the small contour first okay 
it shows up as gray that's because it's the standard color that comes out once you click on it but you just change that color I changed mine to white okay change it to white at first alright now the setting the offset is at 10 and the steps is at 1 so let me show you how that looks I didn't like the way that that looked this, the contour is too thick to me so I changed it just double click it left click click on your contour I dropped mine down to 5 click OK alright so it's a little thinner now okay now since I wanted a double contour I just hit add effect again now I'm going with the larger contour okay click on that I wanted maroon so I click on maroon click OK there you have it now you see how thick the second contour is I didn't like that either it just looks like a, a big blob so just double click let it gather itself all right second contour it's on 20 so I drop that down to half. I drop that down to 10. Let it gather itself. Click OK. And there you go. There's the final product. Alright, so like I said, I'm in the process of trying to get this patch made. And um, I've already reached out to a few uh, suppliers that specialize in making patches. And the size I'm going to go with, I'm, I, I submitted uh, 14 by 5. I like to go big. Um, I thought about making them small for a left chest piece. I, I still might do that. But I want to actually see what it looks like in a larger size as well in case I want to go full frontal on a sweatshirt, hoodie, or jacket or whatever. Alright, so there you have it. The new Mifrasi logo I'm trying to put out. I'm going to turn this into an actual patch. And once I get it all made up, I'll come back and I'll show you guys. Alright, so till next time, you know, holla at your boy. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think about my new design, the new Mifrasi design brought to you by direction choose your own path and once again i made this design with the stars cad works free software all right make sure you guys hit that thumbs up uh, i see the channel growing i'm getting new subscriptions uh, i'm pleased but let's make it better let's get it the message is always in the cloth the colors the designs the fit Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.